guys welcome back to my channel um some of you guys had requested a foundation routine so if you guys want to see how i go from looking like a cheetah because i have a lot of hyperpigmentation to a flawless finish um just keep watching so as you can see i already have my eyes done i usually do my eyebrows after i do my foundation today's eye look i just kind of did something basic because i'm not really going anywhere and it's kind of hot but um i did use the mermaid palette from tarte cosmetics start off i'm just gonna um do a little bit of moisturizing so again i'm gonna go with the josie moran argon oil um, i really like this stuff it's either between this or maracuja oil from tarte cosmetics um but i'm like super super dry so this has been helping a lot And then we'll just let that absorb. And I like to take the Juice Beauty Oil Free Moisturizer. I really like this. I recently started using this. A couple weeks ago, I had like some weird dry patchy flakiness going on on my cheek. And it kind of hurt. And I dude, I dude. <laughs> their green apple pill. I think it's like their extra strength green apple pill. And you only keep it on like 10 minutes. And then wash it off and then I put this moisturizer on top and that flakiness just went away and my concealer my foundation just looks so freaking smooth like like bomb girl then I like to take more moisturizer because you know fucking dry um I like to take the sea brightener maracuja under eye cream from Tarte like a dry boogie or something <laughs> Oh, I like to take the Clean Slate Timeless Primer from, <laughs> once again, Tarte. This stuff works really, really well. Like, it just blurs out any hyperpigmentation or sunspots or whatever kind of flaws you have going on. Um, it helps the appearance of fine lines and pores. And then you just rub that in. It makes your face extra, extra smooth. For foundation, I like to use the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear. The color's a little bit dark, it's 360. I usually wear this color in the summer. This is a full coverage foundation, yo. So, as you can see, it just covers all my imperfections. I'm using a damp beauty blender. This is probably one of my favorite foundations. It used to be the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation because literally that shit covers like your whole fucking soul. But the color matching, oh, dude, it's just really yellow, you know? And I don't really want to look like Simpson or anything. So this one, or I really like the Amazonian Clay. I use the shade Light Medium Sand. And then in the summer, if I get a little bit darker, which I don't, I try to tan and like I end up looking like the same color. Like, I don't know what the fuck. But um, in the summer, I use medium sand or I mix the two together to get that fake glow, you know? That fake glow. That fake tan. Faux tan. Self tan. Bitch tan. You want to take it down to your neck because you don't want to look three different colors and then i just let that set i don't put any powder until like the very very last moment then i'm going to take the shape tape um i usually use the color light medium honey because i'm sweet just kidding and i like to make these wings because it makes me feel like I'm a Victoria's Secret angel. Don't crush my dreams, bitch. You take that damp beauty blender and I just like to blend and hide all those freaking under circles because I don't get that much sleep. Just kidding. I sleep a lot, but I feel like, like I sleep. I feel like I sleep a lot, but I don't really sleep a lot because I go to bed pretty late and I wake up kind of early, like 8.39 ish. A little dry let it be cute i'm um, just kidding lately i haven't really been setting my under eyes um just because i've been really really dry and i'm telling you i had like that weird 
like zombie problem with my flaky ass skin. But um, if I do, I usually take the smooth operator. I don't really bake. I'll just let it sit for a minute and then I'll brush it off. Um, just because it kind of like I've noticed it kind of leaves like a white flash. Like when you take a picture, like you just look freaking heck of white, you know? This is what it is. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. I'm sorry, that was fucking weird. I didn't do my eyebrows. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see that. I'll just do it anyways, I guess. I usually brush my hairs off. I got my eyebrows done. I told you. Look at bleak. 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 I usually like to take this little brush right here, this angled brush. And then I use the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. I like to take a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of product, like literally like that much. And then I rub it on the cap. I don't go all the way in the corner because I like for it to look still natural, even though my eyebrows are far from natural because girl, I like them looking fierce. I like them looking dramatic. I like them looking like I'm a different human being. You guys are probably like, bitch, shut the freak up. And then we'll go ahead and do the other eye and then I'll show you the next step what I do. <laughs> I have to hold my elbow. I don't know why I do that, but I do that. It's so nice outside. Like, oh God. I wish I had friends to do shit because, dude, I would be outside all the fucking time. Oh, <laughs> yes. I'm a loner. Nobody ever wants to hang out with me besides my mom. Shout out to my mom for being my only friend. It's so, like, I might go hiking hopefully tomorrow with my cousin Bianca. We're both like weird, but it's like a funny weird. Like, she cracks me up. She's like, where do you wanna go hiking? I'm like, I don't know, I only know of Chautauqua. <laughs> like, I know of other places, but they're like hella far, you know? And I don't really wanna drive that much. And I don't think she wants to drive that far either, cause that's not fun. And then I like to take the Real Technique brush, just with no product on it. Um, and I like to like move the product up a little bit forward just to give that fade effect. This must be. I'm gonna Gotta just try to make your eyebrows even. I mean, my eyebrows are pretty like good without having to fill them. But I just like making them look a little bit darker, you know? You know? My past life, I was a chola, so I think that's probably why I like them dark. Just kidding, I was never a chola. Now that you look fleeking, I like to take Busy Gal Brows. Um, I got it in the shape medium brown, which I probably should have gotten the black brown, but I'm just going to use this to keep my brows in place. I don't know why, but my eyes feel really heavy. Like, I'm tired. <sighs> and I'm really thirsty. But not like that thirsty. Like, you know, I'm dehydrated. That's pretty much it for the brows. Like, I don't really use concealer. The only time I use concealer is when my hairs are, like, super hairy. Um, then I use concealer just to, like, clean it up. But, I mean, I literally just got my eyebrows threaded. So I don't really have to clean it. Okay, so for the next thing, I like to use the Hula Bronzer from Benefit. Um, and I like to take this little pink brush. I think I got it in my Ipsy bag. Um, I like this a lot just for contouring because I feel like it's like really small and like dense. And it just does, it just gets the job done. Oh, and the only reason why I don't set my face after is because I noticed that when I use a bronzer, after I had already set my face with powder, like it looks like a dingy, like muddy color. So like I've been setting my whole face like after I bronze and um, do blush. So you just wanna like follow the tip of your ear. Same with the other side. So I don't really contour my forehead cause like 
dude it's like literally like a two hit so that's not necessary but like if you have like a normal size head or if you have like a little bit of bigger forehead um then you can go ahead and contour your forehead too but i'm not gonna do that because that's just gonna make my forehead look smaller and i don't like want to do that i'm like, like a freaking alien or something um but i just like to take it around my temples into the hairline and then I have a small cute nose. It's so funny because people have like legit ask me, where do you get your nose done? And I'm like, I don't. This is all natural. This is me. And I like to take my little sponge again. Like I said, I don't really bake with this powder. So I literally just like do it very gently and make like a line. Um, and then I'll like dust it off because I don't want to look I don't want to have that weird white line in my pictures. Oh, Avicii. Dude, it's so sad. Okay, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Like, I li legit literally freaking cried when I found out Avicii passed away. I called off radio and I'm like, it's so sad. And I was like bawling. I'm super emotional. I don't judge. Okay, so for blush, since I'm doing like a little bronze, like summer kind of everyday look i probably wouldn't do my eyeshadow though like especially when it gets hot like dude i sweat a lot it's crazy um i'm just gonna take this a cosmetics brush it's the flawless blush brush i really like this brush um, i actually really like all their brushes and then i'm using japanesque i can't tell you what color it is because it's scratched off but i really like this brush a uh, blush because it's like like that brown pink warm color and I just like to smile a little bit and just get it on the apples of my cheeks I just like using blush because I like I said like I do have hyperpigmentation and I do have a little bit of texture and I just feel like the blush kind of covers that a little bit so I'm just gonna take a uh, the it cosmetics brilliant brilliant powder brush um i got it in their like little glitter set um and i'm just gonna blend that blush because it's a little crazy i'm gonna take the double duty beauty confidence cream foundation um it's from tarte and i just like to use this to set all of my makeup use the rainforest of the sea um setting spray i really like this it smells like oranges and it just feels super refreshing like oh, feels so good. i'm gonna take the rainforest of the sea highlighting brush from tarte and i'm gonna use their enthused highlighter as well Alright, so then I'm just going to go ahead and finish my eyeshadow and then, um, I mean, I'm not really going to do much to it. I don't booked it. And then for lipstick, I just want to do something a little hydrating because, dude, my lips are freaking chopped. So I'm gonna go ahead with the Double Duty Beauty from Tarte. Um, it's their lip sculptor and it's in the shade VIP. I don't really do lip liners, I probably should, but I don't. And I like it because it has the gloss on the, on the other side too. Gloss is cool, my lip gloss is popping. Something, something, something. Like, and that's pretty much it guys um uh, but yeah so this is the look this is the face she flawless girl if you guys like this video leave a thumbs up or subscribe um also leave some comments uh so i can see what kind of videos you want me to make um yes yeah, stay golden and hopefully we'll see you on my channel next time bye